Five fun animal idioms you need to know in English. Did you know that in English, we use animals to explain some of life's most interesting situations? From wild goose chases to waiting for pigs to fly, animal idioms are everywhere. But what do these strange sayings really mean? Join us as we take you on a fun adventure to explore five fascinating animal idioms. You might be surprised by what they really mean and how you can use them in everyday conversations. Stay tuned to discover idioms that will make you sound like a native speaker. Once upon a time, in a small village, there were five close friends, Emily, Tom, Sarah, Leo, and Max. They loved spending time together, especially exploring new places. They would often play games, solve puzzles, or talk about things that interested them. One sunny day, they met under a big oak tree near the edge of the village. Sarah, who was always full of ideas, said, I've been thinking, we use a lot of strange sayings that have animals in them. But do we ever stop to think about what they really mean? Why do we say, the early bird gets the worm, or, a leopard cannot change its spots? What do these really mean? Emily laughed. That's so true, Sarah. I always hear these sayings, but I never really understood them either. Tom added, why don't we go on an adventure to learn about these sayings? We can each find one animal idiom, figure out what it means, and then meet back here to share our discoveries. The others agreed excitedly. It was the perfect plan for their next adventure. Each friend would set off on their own journey to explore and learn about an animal idiom. And so, their idiom hunt began. The leopard who couldn't change. Emily was the first to begin her adventure. She remembered hearing the saying, a leopard cannot change its spots. It made her curious, so she decided to visit the nearby jungle to see if she could find a leopard. As she walked deeper into the trees, the sounds of the village faded away. Birds chirped high above, and leaves crunched under her feet. After a while, she spotted a beautiful leopard sitting on a large rock. The leopard seemed sad. So Emily approached carefully. Hello, leopard, Emily said softly. Why do you look so sad? The leopard sighed. I've been trying to change my spots. I don't like them, but no matter how hard I try, they always stay the same. Emily smiled kindly and said, There's an idiom that says, a leopard cannot change its spots. It means that people, or animals like you, cannot change who they really are inside. And you know what? You don't need to change. You're perfect just the way you are. The leopard looked surprised, then smiled softly. I never thought of it that way. Maybe I don't need to change after all. Thank you for helping me see that, Emily. Emily felt happy that she could help the leopard. She waved goodbye and quickly made her way back to the big oak tree to tell her friends what she had learned. The early bird gets the worm. The next morning, it was Tom's turn to go on his adventure. He had heard the saying, the early bird gets the worm. So, Tom woke up early, even before the sun had fully risen, and decided to go to the village garden. There were many birds that visited the garden in the morning, and Tom thought he could learn something from them. As he quietly entered the garden, he saw a small bird flying around. The bird was hopping on the ground, searching for food. After a few minutes, the bird found a big, juicy worm. It grabbed the worm with its beak and flew away happily. Tom smiled to himself and realized what the idiom meant. The early bird gets the worm means that people who wake up early or do things before others will get the best results. The little bird got the worm because it was early, just like the saying suggested. Feeling proud of his discovery, Tom ran back to the big oak tree to share what he had learned with his friends. The elephant in the room. Meanwhile, Sarah was thinking about another idiom she had heard. It involved an elephant, but not in the way one might expect. The idiom was, the elephant in the room. It made her curious, so she decided to visit the village square, where there was a big party happening that day. As soon as Sarah arrived at the square, she noticed something unusual. Everyone was laughing, dancing, 
and having a good time, but there was a huge elephant standing right in the middle of the square. Strangely, no one was talking about it. In fact, people seemed to be pretending that the elephant wasn't even there. Sarah walked up to a group of people and asked, why is nobody talking about the elephant? One of the people looked uncomfortable and replied, oh, we all know it's there, but we don't want to talk about it. Sarah realized that this was exactly like the idiom, the elephant in the room. It means there is a big problem that everyone knows about, but no one wants to talk about it. Sarah understood that sometimes people avoid talking about important things, even when it's obvious to everyone. She decided to face the issue head on. We should talk about the elephant, she said to her friends. If we don't, we'll never fix the problem. Everyone nodded in agreement, and soon, people began discussing the issue openly. Sarah felt proud for helping people talk about the elephant in the room. When Pigs Fly Leo was the most playful and imaginative of the group. He loved strange and funny idioms, and his favorite one was when pigs fly. But what did that really mean? Pigs couldn't fly, so why did people say it? Leo decided to visit Farmer Joe's farm to see if he could find out more about the idiom. When he arrived at the farm, he found Farmer Joe sitting on a haystack, looking frustrated. What's wrong, Farmer Joe? Leo asked. The farmer sighed. I've been hoping that my pigs would help clean the barn, but I know that will only happen when pigs fly. Leo laughed, finally understanding the meaning of the idiom. When pigs fly means that something is impossible and will never happen. Pigs will never fly, and just like Farmer Joe said, his pigs would never clean the barn. Leo left the farm, chuckling to himself. He loved how silly the idea of flying pigs was, even though he knew it would never happen. The Wild Goose Chase Max was the most adventurous of the friends. He loved going on journeys, and today he wanted to learn about the idiom, a wild goose chase. It sounded like an exciting challenge, so Max set off into the woods, determined to find some geese. Max searched high and low, wandering through the trees, crossing rivers, and exploring fields. But no matter how hard he looked, he couldn't find a single goose. Hours passed, and Max began to feel tired. Just as he was about to give up, he realized something important. This must be what they call a wild goose chase. Max exclaimed. A wild goose chase doesn't mean literally chasing geese, it means looking for something that's difficult to find or might not even exist. Max laughed at himself for spending so much time searching for geese that weren't even there. He made his way back to the big oak tree, excited to share what he had learned with his friends. The friends share their adventures. By the end of the day, all five friends gathered under the big oak tree, eager to share what they had learned from their adventures. Emily was the first to speak. I learned that a leopard cannot change its spots, she said. It means people can't change who they are deep inside. Tom went next. I discovered that the early bird gets the worm, he explained. If you wake up early or do something first, you'll get the best results. Sarah smiled and added, I learned about the elephant in the room, which means there's a big problem everyone knows about, but no one wants to talk about. Sometimes, it's important to face the problem and discuss it. Leo laughed. And I found out that when pigs fly means something impossible will never happen. Pigs will never fly, and some things will never change. Max nodded and shared his experience. I went on a real wild goose chase today. It means searching for something that's hard to find or might not even exist. More adventures and idioms. The group laughed and felt proud of what they had discovered. Each idiom had taught them something new and fun. They realized that idioms were a creative way to describe different situations in life, and they couldn't wait to use them in their everyday conversations. We should teach these idioms to others. Max suggested. The friends agreed. They promised to use the animal idioms they had learned whenever they could. 
they also made a pact to go on more idiom adventures in the future, to discover even more interesting phrases and sayings. As the friends sat under the oak tree, they talked about where their next adventure might take them. The world was full of idioms waiting to be explored. Conclusion and final thoughts As the sun began to set and the stars appeared in the sky, the friends knew their idiom adventure had been a great success. They had learned about leopards, birds, elephants, flying pigs, and wild goose chases, each teaching them something unique. The friends smiled as they waved goodbye and walked home, already dreaming of their next journey. Who knew what other fun idioms they might discover in the future? And now, dear viewer, do you know any fun animal idioms in English or your language? We would love to hear your favorite idioms. Share them with us in the comments below, and let's learn from each other. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed learning about these fun animal idioms, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting language lessons. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your favorite idiom, we would love to read and learn from you, too. Until next time, happy learning and happy idiom hunting.